Hi, good night guys. It has been several months since I've last recorded Ghosts will be watching. I really like and enjoy this game. Unfortunately, uh, the last time I recorded it, I totally forgot that there is a bug. Uh, because of which, uh, each time you, cr you complete the mission, the game basically crashes and it doesn't save your progress. So I had to replay the previous mission, but uh, during the previous one it was uh, the most, the most, the longest and uh, probably the most tedious mission, although it was quite fun, it was a uh, harsh resource management mission. We managed to keep everybody alive. Uh, right now I've played this mission again. I was not able to keep everybody alive, in fact most of my team died, but... It doesn't really matter, I've turned off my internet connection now, so the game will not try to access any servers. So we will be able to progress uh, just as we should be. And uh, in order to preserve the narrative in a way that nobody has ever died, I'm just going to the gallery section. Uh, and we are going to start directly from chapter 4. It's, this is directly after chapter uh, 4, which is called, uh, which has the same name as the game itself, Gus will be watching. If you remember, we managed to keep everybody alive, nobody died. We saved everybody, that was the first time I ever managed to do it myself. We are kind of going to continue playing on maximum uh, difficulty, which is, uh, which is called original. So, let's see what we can do now. As you remember guys, in the previous episode Xenolifer basically stole our research on the Medusa virus and they are now trying to use it to blackmail uh, the confederation into accepting their demands. Let's see what we have guys. So we are now going to chapter selection. Okay, this is going to be original. I am going to overwrite the save. Let's get going, guys. Okay, there we are, Jack. It's great to have you all back. Sorry, there is no time to rest, but the situation is critical. See the life? Yes. What the hell are those assholes after now? Genocide. What? Liam! can't be possible! Stop worshipping that terrorist, Sergeant. They made it clear in their demands. The Constellar Federation must abolish alien slavery or they will unleash the Medusa virus across the entirety of Gactus 7. But Gactus 7 is one of the planets with the highest rate of slaves over humans. What do they want? To free them by killing them? Not at all. They were after the Medusa virus from the beginning since it only affects mammals. Their objective is to create a free world for aliens, making the planet uninhabitable for human beings. Okay! This should be easy then. We destroyed the life mothership, problem solved. Those demands were made a week ago. The Consul Federation refuses to negotiate with terrorists and the Medusa virus became airborne 37 hours ago, so they saved us too late. Shit has already hit the van. There is no need to panic here, I know the cure, we can produce an antidote now. I'm afraid it's not that easy. Xena Reifer developed a genetically encrypted mutation of the virus. Xena Medusa, they call it, and, and, and only they have the antidote. How many people are at risk? 4 billion. Fuck! Damn it, Liam! They are still open to negotiate. If the Constellar Federation accepts their demands, the Dinalar will launch the antidote into Gactus 7's atmosphere. No, they won't accept. The Constellar Federation never negotiates. For them, Gactus 7 there is not a piece on their board. I bet anything they'll even use the trilogy's propaganda. So, that's it, I guess. We aren't superhumans, Gordon. There is nothing else we can do. We should get some rest and focus on how to stop Xenolife in the future. No! I'll go! I'm gonna stop them! 
you're insane. Let me go with you, Pearl. No, not this time. This is a one man mission. This is suicide. You should have gotten used to suicide missions by now, Jack. I'm finishing the calculations now. You should collide with the Lapras mothership in 2 hours and 29 minutes. I don't have exact data on the integrity of the Matriarch's hole, but you have a crop and a 32% chance of surviving the crash. Bird, are you sure you still want to proceed? 32? That's a gift from the gods in the face of saving 4 billion lives. So let me get this straight. You're gonna fire yourself? You're gonna fire yourself into space piles a one-man cruiser headed towards the Matriarch, aiming directly at four lamps of the ship. Retrieve the antidote and then manually fire in the Gector 7's atmosphere? Exactly! And you are saying this isn't suicide mission? Yes. What about being inside a collapsing spaceship surrounded by enemy forces? I'll figure it out. Yeah, no problem, not a big deal. I'm a surgeon, but I'll do this every day. Why the hell not? I mean, we managed to keep everybody alive against all odds. Thank you for everything, Burton. We owe you our lives. Through all the pain, suffering, and success, it's been an honor, surgeon. Woof! Okay, Brandon. Say goodbye to everybody. You are going to the surgeon. My AI module will allow me to commandeer the droid rocket. To commandeer droid rocket, allowing me to disperse the antidote reactive agents over the planet's atmosphere. That means I won't come back. 100% sure. I'm so glad I can be of service until the end. Goodbye, everybody. Okay, you're ready to go. Burden, while Brand is connected to your space, see if he can provide useful people during the mission. At this point, you should be at least feel sorry for dumping him all those months and before Senegas. God, Donald, you are a rentorous nerd. Just try to come back alive to all of Brandon's heroic sacrifice. Ha, <laughs> sure. Sergeant, go and kick some sea life for us. Yeah, my dead friend. Goodbye, team. We'll meet again in this life or the next. And this is, guys, by the way, not the simple words. Uh, the theme of uh, next lives is going to be present throughout the rest of this game. And there we go. We launched ourselves. Brandon, are you seeing this? Outer space. An endless sea of scattered dust in a vast veil of darkness. I don't know why, but this cold void feels like home. It's hard not to feel completely insignificant in the face of all this darkness. Have you ever considered your purpose, Brandon? What it means to exist in the in this vast in this vast darkness. Out here it makes you wonder what your what four billion lives really mean. Just another white dot. One of a million pin pinpricks of light, each one indifferent to its inhabitants. Millions of points of light, so find the future that they have already died. Why did I spend my, my whole life protecting them? What am I protecting exactly? I spent my whole life fighting, don't even know why. In fact, I can't remember anything beyond fighting. I never had home. We aren't so different, you and I, Brandon. You and I are the same. I do have never known childhood. It's like I've only existed to save the world. Again. And again. Not for duty, respect for life, or any human values. I'm like Marvin, just can't stop chasing after that damn stick. Gas keep keeps tossing the stick. I'll keep breathing back. This minute is world. He almost makes the first move here, guys. And there we go again. So 
at the current moment we are basically going to be praying at Brickville. I'm going to decrease the sound a bit because it's really loud. Okay, and we need to travel. It doesn't matter which direction we go, let's just head west. direction I'll do my best to lead you up there this might be a sign of the gods I thought we were damned we were damned to this place already I'm sergeant Abraham it will be a pleasure to follow your lead sergeant just sergeant hmm. very well very well to where then we know our base camp is northwest from here but the desert is treacherous Understood, let's move. We'll rest when the sun is down. That could be the problem, Sergeant. The only time the deserts of Lee no darkness are when the sandstorms block out the sun. Excuse me? He's saying that Legit has no light. The two suns keep this planet as deserted as it can get. Corporal Maslow was born here. The nomadic children of Legend are tough as hell, so you'd be wise to lose his advice. Our best option is to use as little water as possible. We should only drink when our bodies are crying for it. Sleeping under the sun is suicide. If you want to rest, we have to look for shelters behind cool shadows. Oh, and there is also a thing that we are currently engaged in a full fledged retreat from a war that we cannot win. We should watch out for weapon controls and enemy camps. <coughs> That's where our scouts can explore the terrain as a head. But time is of the essence. Always keep that in mind. And what about your land? Yeah, those bastards look great for me. And the desert sand is making it look like, look ugly. If you feel you need to make any sacrifices, I give you full authority to do so. Stop with me. So he basically. So what the hell? We don't even know this guy. Shut up and respect your commander. Don't listen to We may be. We may be part of this desert, but we are still. Out of me, Sergeant, most of you can. The desert won't forgive any missteps and friendships won't save anyone out here. So, man up and let's move! Okay. We can talk to Dr. Dad, but we can actually ask about different things. 
I see, okay. And uh, what about you? You don't need water rest? Is it because of special suit? I've never seen one like it. Yeah, probably. But if you remember correctly, guys, uh, during the experiments, uh, all... none of the shots really affected Sergeant Burton. And during the previous mission, he doesn't even have morale meter. He never wants needs to eat, so... Our protagonist is definitely quite a weird guy, and I also need a pen because we actually need to write down the password. Thing. Otherwise, we can get lost. So let me grab my pen. Let me grab uh, something to drink, and I'll get it. And I'll be right back. of water, three clips of ammo, two explosives and two steam shots. Not a lot of ammo by the way. By the way, some of those numbers are a bit randomized at the beginning of the mission. And the position of the camp is also randomized. Uh, we could also dig for some water, it's all going to take three hours. I think we should do it. Let's see, what else do we got? The Dr. Todd, uh, let's ask about steam shots. What are those injections you carry with you? Soldier's stamina drops to zero, he'll collapse. The shots will restore their stamina and get them back on their feet. But without water, it won't matter and he'll fail again soon. Okay. Like, that's the quest information about stamina. Everybody is in perfect condition. What about thirst? Everybody is in perfect condition. Okay. By the, so, basically, guys, we need to... Uh, we can't just go in like this, we need to spend the time with uh, our guys, we need to send them to explore, naturally they will get uh, they will get exhausted doing so, and they can also get cut by the, by the enemy and we can lose them, this is, other, this is basically inevitable. Okay, we've got three scouts, uh, four soldiers. And Dr. Todd, he can also fight, but he's not very efficient and he will mostly just waste ammo. Okay, uh, I guess we need to start with digging the water since there is one. It takes time, takes precious time, but we don't need to move, so... Nine rations of water is actually very, very nice. Although, normally you don't want to dig up too much. Let's see what challenges we've got. Seven members alive. Well, if possible, we won't be able to beat all of them. Don't spend more, more than 25 hours sleeping. Don't ever use more than 3 hours travel between zones. Reach the camp before estimated time of departure. By the way, even if you miss the deadline, you will still have some time, although not much. The 
need four enemy patrols using a single soldier. This is uh, uh, an interesting one. It's going to be very risky, I bet. Okay, northwest. Well, we don't know whether it moves the north or moves the west, but uh, we were going west previously. I'll let Starlish explore the west. But now we need to choose whether we want to explore three zones or two zones. I guess I'll send him to explore three zones. Okay, here, here you are, my friend. I'm back, sorry for the wait. Uh, this is what I saw. First I saw nothing but desert. Then I saw nothing but desert. Huge wall. So there is... I'm delaying the group, you should get rid of me to give the rest a chance. Basically, depending on how much uh, stamina your soldiers have got, uh, depends how many times it, it takes for a group to move from one tile from another. At perfect stamina and with good stamina it takes uh, one hour. With Abraham, the minimum amount of time you need to spend on a movement is going to take two hours, but it's still acceptable, so we're not going to kill him. Besides, if you kill him, then at least one soldier and at least one scout leaves you. We're not going to do so. Let's request the information at first. Yeah, Starlish is still good, so let's go west. Because we know that there is nobody. We mostly need to scout because there may be enemy patrols and they'll kick our ass. Let's go west. Yeah, it's going to take two hours because of this guy, but that's fine. Yeah, we're going to give him water. He scouted the area for us after all. Okay, cool. Uh, we are going to try... Ah, by the way. I can also check the signal. Uh, if you moved, you can check your signal to understand whether you're getting closer or not. So we're going to move west once again. Yeah, there is a huge wall. The problem is, unfortunately, I didn't know that we can't move the north. So we have a choice, we have a choice, we could either try to move south and then go west a bit more, or we can go back and scout north. I guess we are going to go back to the east, because we've already scouted this location, yes we are going to waste a couple of hours, that's okay, and it is acceptable. Enemy patrols with a single soldier. 
Ah, we're not going to do it. Okay. And we're going to use Jack as well. Serious M is going to lead the attack. You know what? Uh, let's see. I mean, I can guarantee the victory over two enemy patrols, but not four. The guys can die, so I'm going to reach them back. So this is out of the equation. I'm not going to use explosives. Guys, let's go. As you can see, we have to this our margin. Flawless job, guys. Two clips of ammo, so we are basically at zero now. Okay. Uh, those guys were leading the attack, it's okay. Now, Jack is going to lead the attack. Nothing to attack, okay. Let's check the mission signal. Let's check the signal now. He's saying that we're getting closer. Okay. We split off at the north, so let's go north. Okay, those two guys are a bit exhausted, but that's fine. I'm not going to give the water just yet. Uh, Jack is going to lead the next attack. Uh, I also want to clarify that each guy you're sending means that you're wasting more ammo, so... Serious 7 is coming to Jack. Let's send the attack. Fuck those guys. Flawless attack. So, and now we're in the open. So, we are basically effectively marched the west and three to the north. I guess we need to go west now. And I don't know, maybe we should only use like, maybe we should only scout two, I don't know. Who knows? Maybe it's going to be more efficient. I'm still going to scout for three though. Cactus. Cactus is nice because cactus is water. Nothing but desert, some kind of shelter. Okay. time because this guy can't move too fast but that's fine let's see let's check the signal he said that we are getting closer we are going to get the water from the cactus the cactus does provide a lot of water but as you can see it's instant you don't need to spend any time on this four rations of water that is acceptable our stamina is still good Oh, it's three hours later now, okay. Yeah, we definitely need to get some water to everybody who wants to drink. Mm -hmm. 
Czech was leading the attack, so his stamina is lower now. Oh, so you can also ask him, okay? Let's ask Jack about combat. Any advice on Desert Combat Corporal? Sure, legend deserts are vast and it's almost impossible to hide anywhere. So if we walk unexpectedly into an engagement, open conflict will cost us lives, no doubt about that. Not to mention that if we walk into an enemy camp without preparation, we are fucked. The wise option is to scout the terrain first. As a group we can be easily spotted, but as a single scout can sneak his way through enemy lines and come back to the sea trap. If we know what's ahead, planning the best course of action will increase our chances of victory. Just choose one of us to lead the attack and we'll tell you about our chances and spend on the man you want to use. Also explosives will notably boost our firepower, but they are rare around here, you should only use them when necessary. Also remember that fighting consumes a lot of stamina, so don't sell the whole crew just to overpower the enemy. Okay, I got it. Enemy camps. What can you tell me about enemy camps? Walking into unprepared, unprepared is unmitigated suicide and their fortified structure make them hard to conquer but if we manage to overtake one and we can will provide us ammo, water and shelter maybe even explosives or stimulants uh, they can be a huge challenge but will come with a high reward should we succeed keep that in mind okay what about ammo uh, why are we so short on ammo We've been lost for two weeks now, sir. There was originally 30 soldiers in this platoon, but the enemy force and desert were merciless. A magazine per person is what we need to fight, without that we stand no chance. We can get more ammo of scavenging, war wreckage, defeat patrols and enemy camps, understood. Okay, let's also ask him about traveling. Traveling this deadline is harsh, and it never gets easier, trust me. Being large in number doesn't make us stronger either. The slowest soldier in the group will set the speed in travel and you should seriously consider restoring our thirst and stamina before traveling if possible of course. Also if we don't have enough resources maybe the best solution is to leave someone behind. Not a nice option I agree but we both know that this is, this is about staying alive and survival usually implies sacrifices. You are damn right Jack. is a bit okay stamina now. Thirst is perfect, so we have only one option going to the west. Okay, let's check the signal. We're still getting closer. Okay, now I want... So our scouts are more or less okay. And Grey Shock seems to be the guy with the most abilities. Oh fuck, it takes more hours for him to explore now. Perfect. We don't know whether it's actually full or not, but let's take a look at the water meter. Okay, those guys are good. Uh, it's Starlish turns to explore. Let's go to the north. Three zones, please. Fuck. 
on, let's wait for one more hour. Fuck's sake, Starlich, come back. I'm going to wait for the last hour, then we'll have to bet. For fuck's sake, we lost the guy. And I know very well what it means. It basically means that there is an enemy camp in the, in the front. It happens, unfortunately. If you send the guy and there is a camp, then your scout may get caught. I don't know whether there is a way to prevent it, but this is basically how it is. We lost a lot of time because of this. Captured by the enemy forces. Okay, let's try again. One hundred fifty seven hours now. All right, I did not expand to get to get sh <laughs> kicked after I managed to beat the previous mission on the first try. Okay, I guess the problem is that I was sending them to scout for three zones straight. It probably increases the risks. They probably can only bypass one camp and there are potentially where two camps, so I guess. Let's check the mission status. Uh, southeast now, the camp is southeast now. Okay, fair enough. Uh, we are going to explore two zones only. I guess this should be keep them safe. I just don't you don't, I just don't know about didn't know about this mechanic. Okay, nice. Uh, we are going south. Now we are going to lead the, the attack against somebody. Grey Shock seems to be the guy with a lot of endurance, so we are going to send him and Mr. Rasmus. Three rations of water, two clips of ammo. Nice. Okay, very well. Starlish is going to need some water, but this should wait a bit. Okay, 
So we effectively move two tiles to the bottom. Let me take my pencil. This is where we started. This is where we are now. Now we need to scout the east. Mr. Romero is going to explore the eastern direction. Two zones, please. I bet that two zones is safe and they will not get lost. Blocked by a huge wall, you'd say, huh? Let's give water to everybody. Let's check the mission status. We only have eight. Eight water. Okay, let's check the signal just in case. Too far away. Okay. Let's travel east. wall but that's okay we can still travel south okay let me mark where we are now okay I guess I'll sell Neil and we are going to explore two zones to the south. Especially given the fact that even if there is a wall, you still waste full time on the scouting, I guess it makes sense. First remains of battle. Nothing but desert, okay. No, Abraham, no! We are not going to kill you. We are not going to sacrifice everybody, anybody. Let's just go south. taking three hours which is not great we lost we waste a lot of time it says that we're getting closer though Starlich is in bad shape we'll have enough water for everybody okay we're definitely going to give water to Starlich water that sucks okay it seems like we can't move east yet again who is in best shape let's send Neil J let him explore the southern direction for two zones if we 
can't get. fucking wall which prevents us from going. Mr. Starlish, would you explore for us? As usual, two tiles to the south. against the camp for us, he deserved it. Okay. Uh, now we're going to send Neil. We're going to explore two zones to the east. Perfect. Let's check the signal. He says we're getting closer, that's fine. Uh, 
Mr. Ramera, would you mind to explore a bit to the east? A couple of zones, if you will. Now move four tiles, I guess. We could go a couple of tiles south now. He's going to scout them. Let's take a look at the stand. Probably Neil J is going to explore for us. A couple of zones. Three zones is too dangerous as we now go. Battle, moist rain. Okay, we need this moist rain and we need those remains of battle as well. Let's go south. Okay, we're getting closer, that's what we know. Let's scavenge the ship. Let's travel south. We ran out of water, so we need to dig. And there is a wall, unfortunately. That may be the problem. Nine rations of water. Okay, come. There is a sandstorm coming. We better hurry and find a shelter before it kills us all. So we need to fight against the enemy camp, it seems like. Unfortunately, there is no way to prevent this, only if you edit the map in the editor, 
but the story is still not going to acknowledge this. So Abraham is dead. On the plus side, it means that our minimum amount of time to get between the zones is one hour and not two, like it was before. Well, it says that we are moving closer. That's good to know. Uh, Mr. Romero is going to explore a couple of zones to the east for us. Since we can't go south anyway. Okay, the remainder of battle. Let's check the mission status. How much time do we have? We still have got a couple of time before the deadline. We have a, a lot of ammo. I'm probably going to scavenge one more time, but this is going to be the last one. Just in case. Last time we scavenged the supplies. Because it stands we have a lot of air. couple of zones to the south now. Let's give him water. We need everybody to move faster. We don't need this shelter though. Oh, we ran out of water, nice. Let's travel to the south once again. That's the problem. It seems like in this playthrough I've got a lot of ammo but no water. It hasn't happened to me a single time when I played this game before. Usually I was running out of ammo but always had enough water. Nothing but desert. Okay, let's travel south. Starlich, a couple of zones to the east. Cactus, some kind of shelter, okay.
least one more time. Fuck, they're all critical. I need to send those guys. We are quite close. I can't go south anyway, so I suppose I'll just send him into scout. This direction, Our last water, if I understand this correctly. So we are going to send in J. Okay, cool. And let's check the signal again. Yeah, we're, we're somewhere very close. Still have got some time before the deadline. We just need to find some water and we'll be good to go. It's possible that uh, the, the camp could be right behind this wall. Nothing but desert. Fuck's sake. Okay. Let's go south. We're getting closer. Let's check the mission status. Two rations in the water. And we are still getting closer, but we need to send somebody. I still 
can't go south. Water and send him in. Okay, there is some water in the west. We are moving further away. Yeah, I know, but we don't have a choice. some water. Hopefully there will be enough for everybody. Nine rations of water. I'll give water to Neil J, but I'm afraid that the water will not help help the rest of them. Let's lead the attack to the south. But first let's check the signal. We are still moving further away despite the fact that we are going south. So that means that our target is at the east. We just need to cross this fucking wall somehow. and send the attack. Everybody's at critical stamina. Let's send this guy to scout a couple of six hours of luck. Perfect now. Yeah, 
I'll give you one, that's fine. caught by the camp. Let's give him some water and send him in. Twelve hours to deadline. One zone to the east. It's probably a camp, it should be a camp. Let's come together. And nobody died, thanks God. And we still can't get to the north. Well, he said it's making the closer, so that's fine. Uh, we need to scavenge. This is going to take three hours.
we just left this guy to die, basically. Let's explore three zones north. How about three zones east? Let's 
travel east. Twenty-seven hours late. I guess like five more hours and we are lost. Yeah, we made it, guys. Thanks, God. It was the first. Well, not the first, second try after all. Lost a couple of scouts. Now chin up, go in there and risk and uh, ask for a beer. You fucking earned it. Sergeant, I want to give you something. I know that your uh, identity was lost in that horrific crash, and with no dog tags, that could lead to problems with the Constellar Federation. They're not as friendly as they used to be, but you taught me the meaning of sacrifice. Thank you. I am alive. Because of you, Sergeant Abraham's mission has been a success. Accept this and let him live through your deeds. Thank you, Jack. At your command, Abraham. And this is how Sergeant, unnamed, unknown Sergeant who doesn't have any memory, became Sergeant Abraham Byrne, of Const the hero of Constellar Federation, who was fired from the military after he after he announced in one of the interview that this war had no meaning, that this war is pointless and it needs to be stopped. Oof. Don't get me wrong, this was not pretty. Uh, I would gladly... Yeah, we didn't spend more than 25 hours sleeping. We didn't ever use more than 3 hours to travel between zones. We were not able, we won't be able to connect to check the stats. We basically did not manage to save two soldiers. We, who, who do we save? We saved four of our combat troops. We saved Dr. Todd, which is five, and we saved one scout, which is six. So we didn't manage to save seven. That was unfortunate. I don't know whether there was anything we could have done better. In any case, I thank you very much for watching, guys. See you next time. Bye.